Hello beautiful people, this is Jeannie Signatures and my name is Jeannie. So today I'll be making this beautiful pencil skirt with the trumpet sleeve. Now let's get right into it. So yeah, I have my fabric on the table. I'm making use of um, an African print that is in color. And that is the lining. I'm going to be using a black lining because this style needs a lining. And then I have my cutting master, my chalk, my measuring tape then the scissors and then of course the zip are we using for the style so without wasting further time let me fold my fabric so yes i have my uh, fabric folded on the table for this type of style you need to use the biggest part of your body measurement then you add sewing allowances of between two to three inches so that you have what you can fold easily and you'll be able to manipulate everything. So now I'm going to be getting the full length of the gown. The full length of the gown is 37 plus one inch, uh, one and a half inches for sewing allowance. I mean allowance, I'm going to be having 38 and a half. So that is what I have on the table. And so, I'm going to be getting my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is um, 16 inches. 16 inches divided by 2, that will give me 8. I'm marking 8. And because this is going to have a sleeve, I'm going to be having half inch for the seam, uh, joining of the sleeves here. So, I'm going to come down for 8 inches for the armhole. And then I'm going to be connecting that right about now. Yeah, so I'm connecting that. So now I'm going to be taking the other measurements. I'm going to be taking a half length, that is a waist measurement, that where I'll be putting a waist measurement. I've marked that. And then I'm going to be taking from shoulder to, that's the shoulder to waist, that's the first measurement. And then I'll be taking the shoulder to hip later on. But I want to rule out this line first. And so now I'm taking the shoulder to the hip. Sorry, the camera couldn't capture that. But that is what I'm taking right now, shoulder to the hip. That is where I'll be putting the hip measurements, the hip circumference. So that's my shoulder, my waist and then my hip that was what i was trying to um, explain so now i'm going to be going for my shoulder slope and i'll be coming down for one inch and then for the neck width for now i'll be using three inches i'll still go ahead and make it wider and then i'm connecting it like that three inches is the standard measurement for that so connecting it like so And then I'm getting my ammo measurement. We are used to this by now, divided into two. You get the midpoint. For the front piece, you come in by half an inch or three quarter. Then you connect. And for the back, you don't need to, you just need to mark your ammo like normal ammo. But for the front, you come in for that half inch so that you can be able to use your hand and move your hand freely. So now I'm going to be putting my bust measurement. My bust measurement divided by four. I'll mark it and then I'll add two inches extra sewing allowance. I like adding two inches. That is the max I usually go for. So I can go between one inch and two inches. So depending on what you want or your choice, you mark it as appropriate. So that's the bust measurement. And then I'm adding two inches extra 
for sewing alongs. And then I'm going to my waist measurement. I'm going to be dividing that by four. And then I'm going to be adding two inches sewing allowance and one inches or one inch, sorry, for that because it's going to be having a dart. It's not going to be a free gown without that. This guy is going to have a dart so that it will give it that um, perfect shape and that is it like on the thumb, thumbnail. Yeah, so now I'm going to my hip. The same thing I did for my bust and waist and minus the dart. I'm going to be dividing my hip measurement by four and then I'm going to be adding two inches sewing allowance. And whatever I have on my hip measurement with the sewing allowances, I'm going to take it to the end of the dress. The only difference is that when I'm about to uh, shape the clothes, like do, uh, so to speak, like what we call closing, I'm going to be making it a little bit pencil-like, yeah, so it won't be, I'm not going to use the hip measurement for that, yeah. But for now, I'm just going to go with the hip measurement. So now, I'm connecting my bust to my waist and my waist to my hip, and then from the hip to the length of the dress. So now I'm going to the neckline because I'm through with other parts. So for the neckline, instead of that 3 inches I made earlier, I'm going to be making it 4 inches now. And if you look at the thumbnail, the depth of the neckline is not that much, but my client wants us to come down more than that on the thumbnail. So I'm going to be coming down by 5 inches. And it's a round neckline, so I'm going to be using my pattern master to connect that together. So that is it for the front piece. And then I'm trying to mark out the back neckline. Uh, it's going to be the same width, but the depth is just the difference. So for the back depth, I'm coming down by 2 inches. So that's, so I'm mark, I want to mark the back armhole too. That's what I'm trying to get because see that I will just uh, cut the two almost at the same time for, instead of uh, repetition. Yeah. So this is my chest line. So now I just want to fold the far back together so that I will cut it out. Okay, so I'm cutting it out. So that I'll be able to place it on the back and then cut out everything at the same time. Please, if you have watched up to this level, kindly hit that subscribe button and click on your notification icon so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. So I'm cutting the back armhole. Please take note, not the front. And then I'm going for the shoulder slope. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Now I have to bring my back um, piece so that I can cut everything once and for all. So yeah, I have my back piece already and I've already marked out my um, zip allowance. I used one and a half inches for my zip allowance. So I'm placing it right on the line of the zip allowance, as you can see. So right now I'm going to be going over to cut it. 
just place it on that line of the zipper allowance you can use one inch you can use two inches it depends on what you want but i used one and a half inches for my zipper allowance so now i'm going right ahead to cut out the back and the front piece together Remember, I had already cut out the armhole, so I'm just going to go the same way because it's the back piece we're trying to cut out for now. And then I'll go over to the neckline that is for the back. And then the shoulder sleeve. If you notice what I did there, I added half inch for the shoulder sleeve. So I didn't cut the one inch off. I left half inch for joining the shoulders. So please take note of that. So now I can go ahead and adjust the front. So I'm cutting out the armhole. And then I'm cutting out the neckline. So yes, we have our front piece and then we have our back piece. So I'm rematching my zip allowance so that I'll know where the zip allowance starts from when I'm sewing. I'm going to be setting that aside for now. Because I want to uh, put in the darts. So for the darts, I'm going to be making use of our nipple to nipple measurements. Whatever your nipple to nipple measurements is divided by two. And whatever you have, you mark it. For my clients, I have nipple to nipple 7 and I divided by 2. That gave me 3.5. So I'm going to be marking the 3.5 on the bust line. On the on the waistline and then on the hip line so on my bust line i'm going to be coming down by one inch well for some people they go uh, they use the um what do i call it yeah the bust line but i'm using the chest line here so if you wish even if you use the chest line you can come down by two inches so that it will not press on your breast after sewing the dart. But because my client is not busty, she has a small cup, she's a small cup sized uh, person. So that was why I used the chest line. So if you are on the busty side, please kindly make sure you have your bust line measurement. And then you come down by one inch or two inches before marking your darts. So now I'm going to the, um, the hip line, I'm going to be coming up by three inches from there. And on the waistline, I came in by half a half inch on both sides, and that is what I'm connecting now. Please, I hope you understand what I just explained. If you're on the bustier side, like you have a big bust, please kindly use your bust line measurement. Then you come down by one inches or two inches. Well, if you're on the small size, cup, small cup size, you can still use your chest line. It still came out the same thing because it will not really press on your breast. Yeah. So that is the dart for the front. I would have to repeat that on the other side when I'm sewing it. Yeah. So I'm heading over to the back piece. The same thing I did basically, and that is what I'm going to be doing here. So I'll just have to place the front piece on the back piece again just to mark out the lines the chest line the waist line and then the hip line because i'll need that as a guidance because i want everything to be sitting the same sorry please ignore the nice neighbor again to me it's just my neighbors yeah so that is me marking out the lines to indicate and then I'm going to be ruling it out and so that I can get the dart for the back. 
So it's pretty much the same thing I did for the front that, that we're going to be doing for the back. It's exactly the same thing. That is me marking the nipple to nipple divided by two. Just mark it, then you roll the lines and join them together. And then on your hip line, you go by three inches. That's what I'm marking right there. And then on the bust or the chest line, you come down by one inch or two inches. And then on the waist line, you come in by half an inch, half an inch. And then you connect it the way I'm doing. Exactly the way we did it for the front that. So I'm going to be repeating it on the other side. So now I want to slit open the zipper line because I have not done that. That is what I'm trying to do. Because the back has to be in two pieces because that's where the zipper is going to be going through. So in order to avoid bulginess at the back after sewing, you know, all these things that will, the zip will just shoot out from nowhere. I'm going to be coming in half an inch from the hip line and then I'm going to be connecting it up to the chest line. So I'll be cutting off half an inch from the zip allowance. You know our back is not um, the way the front is because the front has bust and all. And the back is like it has a deep, there's a way it went in as in, I don't know how to explain it. But it's not just straight so it's curvy somehow so. If we leave the zipper allowance like that and so it, it will be bulgy. So we need to cut off some of this uh, zip allowance. And at the end of the day, when you sew your zip, it will just follow the same um, shape of your back and it will sit perfectly. Yeah. So I have everything ready. But the next thing I'm going to be doing right about now is cutting out um, the sleeves. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut out the lining, sorry, yeah, I had to cut out the linings and all. So, that is what I have done off color. I believe all of us should know how to cut out lining. It's exactly what is on the clothes that you just place, fold your lining, place your clothes on it, and then cut out exactly as it is. Okay, so yeah, I'm heading over to cutting of the sleeve. I didn't really want to waste much time because I had seen that the time had gone so far. So you will need a basic tutorial on how to make a sleeve to get this. So basically what I did was that I folded my clothes in a bias format. You know, you know, you fold it in a, in a diagonal shape, slanted, that's bias, yeah. And you just get your armhole. You just divide your arm hole into two, then you get your arm hole. I think I'm going to be making a tutorial shortly, very soon on how to um, uh, uh, cut our sleeves, our basic sleeves. Yeah, I think I'm, that will be the next tutorial. Yes, I should do that. So now what I'm basically doing, I'm sorry about that. My camera, something came up on it, so I was trying to stop it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So now I'm trying to get the length. So you're going to be placing your tape on the... At your ham hole and then you take it all the way around like that i'm marking 24 inches because that's the sleeve length of my clients this sleeve is very easy i don't want to waste much time because i've not done a tutorial on a basic sleeve that is why so i just had to 
go ahead and cut this off camera as in the yam wool and everything but i promise i'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to cut the basic sleeve so i'm go i've gone ahead to cut out the second piece because of course it's going to be two sleeves so if you want to put a lining on this sleeve you can go right ahead but i didn't i just mm -hmm. used a bias so now i've sewn all the goods i've put all the darts and all those are the darts for the back i've added the zipper everything is looking pretty i've done the front darts too and everything is looking fine i've joined the shoulders so basically the only thing left now is for me to just go right ahead and um, take the measurements that is what we call closing so i'm just going to take the measurements the actual measurement of the client removing the sewing allowances and then i'll be right back to show you how it looks So yes, after doing that, this is how it looks. It's very beautiful, looking neat and everything is laying flat. I've given it a minor press here. <laughs> if you know what I mean, I've pressed it and it's looking beautiful. So the only thing left now is for me to put fix the sleeves and that is what I'm about to do. I'll be back to show you. So yes, I've been fixed the sleeves. This is how it looks. Sorry, it's not my size and my mannequin is a small size for my mannequin so I can't really display it. So but this is how it looks. It looks beautiful and all. Thank you all for sharing, uh, for watching. Thank you. See you all. Catch you next time on the next tutorial. Thank you. Love you all. Kisses, kisses, kisses. Thank you all to my subscribers. I love you so much. Thank you. Bye for now and catch you later. Thank you. <laughs>